Hey YouTube, it's been probably, I don't know how long it's been since I last did an uh, update video, how I like the car and everything else. Um, I was doing some research on the internet too. Don't mind that noise, that's the furnace. Yeah, a lot of people still don't have power, that sucks. Um, especially my grandpa and grandma, they don't have any power right now. So, but I just, I, Toyota, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen on this car. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get him a car here. I shut the lights off for the reason why up there. But I'll show you here. The thing is, the dumbest thing I've ever seen with this car is the, oh shoot, I, I can't even see in here, but right here, the headlights. It doesn't say auto, it just says off, you know, parking lights, and it's got the fog lights on or off or just on. Well, here's the thing. I, it's an on position now. So I'll get my key and I'll pretend I'm going to start it. Turn it on. It comes on. Shut it off. Take it out. It buzzes. Then you take your keys out. All right. It stops buzzing. See the LED lights are on. See? See, they're still on, they go up, it's set for 30 seconds, but it'll go off. I've never seen a car like that that'll buzz for you like it's saying shut the car lights off. No, I, I just think it's strange. I'm not just complaining. I just think it's the weirdest thing. See, here it goes off. Uh, so, I didn't really, they told me it never had auto headlights. Well, it has auto headlights, but it just doesn't have the sensor up there. Well, maybe it does, there's a sensor. Yeah, that does have a sensor, doesn't it? So, I've just been shutting it off and just turned them on like that. And when I get take my keys out, this is what I hear. I hear that noise. So I just thought, well, you're supposed to shut it off then. So I turned it on. Go and you put my keys in there. It, the buzzer stops. It shows the headlights are on in there. Go back here, the tail lights are on. See? Everything's on. And I never really experiment. I've had this car almost a year in March. March 5th, I got it. And I've never tried this. So we'll see if this headlights go off now. And because it says in the owner's manual it has daytime running LED lights. Well, they don't work unless you turn that switch on. So that's what I'm a little confused by. Let's see if she goes off here. I got the, on the computer, on the radio, I set it for 30 seconds. You got 30, 60 seconds, and 90 seconds, or off, generally nothing. Let's see if she goes off. She's gonna take a little longer this time. She might not go off. See, that's the thing. Is it going to go off or not? Hmm. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So I bet if I did that and the lights stayed on all night, I'd wear my battery on. See, that's what I don't understand. This is the weirdest car I've ever seen. Um, I don't know what the deal is with it. It's not going off. And the other thing is, is I've seen people are complaining. Only thing I've ever seen people complaining is, as the air's buzzing again, is the seats are very um, uncomfortable. Yes, they are. I don't really care. And it's awful. Not much room here. You know, you hit everything at your head. Yes, I agree with that. And nobody's complaining about the transmission, which is awesome. Nobody's complaining about, well, I see people are complaining about the engine having no power, but uh, that's just the way it is. But I'm going to turn this back on. Turn the key in, shut it off, and take the key out again, and let's see if lights go off now. I haven't started this car since uh, Friday, and today is Tuesday. So I've been running with the headlights all alone and everything else. I just kind of do a little update that's really weird. You, um, I bet it'll go off now. Um, 
turn you have the turn the headlights on just on position turn the key on shut off take the keys out it'll shut off if you uh, don't put the keys in there you just turn the headlights off and turn it on then they don't yeah see then they go off otherwise they don't go off so here I'll do this see I'll have I got the key in my hand so I'll shut this off turn the headlights on shut it and I bet you it will not go off it's the weirdest thing I've never in my life seen a car like that and that's what I'm trying to figure out why it's that way um, I read the owner's manual and I don't, I don't know what the deal is I, I assume just to do it manually because it's just confusing <laughs> my neighbor's dog is howling. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go out. So I'll go in here. Yeah, see it's buzzing again. That's weird. I I've never seen a car like that. My other Toyota Crilla was never that way. But if I do that it it should it should go off now. Turn the key and turn it off and take it out. I bet it should go off now. That's the weirdest thing. I've never seen a car do that. Yep, there it goes off. That is odd. I probably should leave it off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I trust that. But as far as I know, a car needs to be washed, yes. But it, it keeps melting and freezing rain and everything. Look at here. Oh, there's the dog over there. Oh, I know. Poor doggy. Doggy had a hard day. Doggy had a hard day. Yeah, so that's that's i kind of want to do an update video on my toyota pro i just thought that was really 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 weird uh everybody's complaining about the seats and how it's not comfortable yes every car i've ever rolled in has been that way it's just a car um everybody had no complaints about the engine no complaints about the engine i mean the transmission i should say i said engine twice and uh, it's just unreal so i found the right car thank god now and I love it. It runs good. I just haven't had a chance to drive it because it's just been no travel advised. And I'm going to drive it tonight. Uh, take some people out and stuff. But uh, yeah, I just find that really odd. Very, very, very odd. That the headlights and fog lights are that way. And uh, I just don't understand that. Um... You can also set your radio not to make this noise. Beep when you lock it. Or you can you can even set it to beep louder or less. It's on the loudest beep. So, well, since I got it unlocked, and I locked it, when the key's out, it's gonna lock. It's gonna automatically lock. That's just what it's gonna do. It's just gonna automatically lock here in a second. It'll go beep and it'll lock. I hate that. So let's see, we'll walk around here and see if it does it. See if it detects the key fob next to me. There's LED lights, brake lights. Yep. Boy, these cars are definitely a lot better than Fords. I test drove a Ford Fusion. Uh, actually, one of my friends I used to go out with, I used to date, has a Ford Fusion, and I love his car. But that transmission in that thing is touchy. I tell you, it, it um, that dual clutch, it jerks and it goes back and forth, and it's just very irritating. It's just like that Focus I had. This car does not do that. It does not hesitate a jerk. It just goes and it just goes and goes and goes. It's not locking because I have the key fob. 
right next to me. Bet if I lock it again here, and I put the key fob over here, away from the car, I bet she'll lock. That detects that. But I find that really funny. That, but the only thing I'm a little scared of is the CBT transmission. Is it going to hold up? I see there. I actually test drove a Nissan uh, Vernado or whatever you call them SUVs. Uh, I think it was an 08 and it was a CBT. It's all wheel drive, decked out leather seats and everything that had 285,000 miles on it and it run just like new and they never did anything to the transmission. That was a CBT continuous variable transmission, which I didn't never heard of before. I didn't know that. I thought they just started making them, but they've they've had them in Hondas since 2004, I guess, or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what the dealership told me uh, around them years. So I find it very, I don't know, uh, in I'm kind of even up and down on the reliability. Is the CBT going to hang in there? Because I know these engines do not hang in here because these dealers want you to change out every 10 to 15,000 miles. Here's the thing. Now all these newer cars, and I'm not saying cars only in Toyotas, even the 5.3 Vortex Chevys are burning oil at 50,000 miles. Well, here's the thing. They got this cylinder deactivation and they also got all this other crap. This does not have a cylinder deactivation. but. I'm just saying that they don't change oil at, it should be the max of 5,000 miles, no matter if you have synthetic oil or whatever. Because, for one thing, this is a brand new engine, and it's breaking in right now. Well, excuse me, my hair, but I look like Einstein right now. But, you're breaking it in and everything. The way I see it is you should change oil uh because it's a new engine and it's breaking in and you're just doing a lot of idling hours and you're in town and you're not on the highway and you're just sitting there idling well it's cold out like this now that deer deteriorates the engine oil now that deteriorates the engine oil i'm just saying that's my opinion and i'm sure there's a lot of people that'll disagree with me but that's how i feel I, but this is a little different. This carbureted, you know, Bobcat, that should be changed a lot more often because it gets gas and oil and then it has no lubrication. My dog, my neighbor's dog. What do you want? I can't do a vlog. Uh, he just wants me to pet him and I just don't want to go out there. It's icy right now. I don't want to fall on my ass. But, like I said, it's just... I find it very odd, and then like I said, with CVT transmission, we'll see. Uh, when my lease is up, I'm, I'm planning on probably keeping it if it's still working good. I hope so. I hope so. I've never had any bad luck with Toyota. Every Toyota Corolla I've ever had. I had an 09 Corolla. I think I had another year. I can't remember what. I, and it had the same engine, one point liter. I, and the 09 had the worst year. And I didn't have any problems with it. Mine had 28,000 miles on it when I had it. When I sold, I think it had 36,000, and I don't know, it was just barely broken in, and it ran fine. That was a leased car that somebody leased like this, so I don't know. But anyway, guys, I thought I'd share that. I just thought that was pretty interesting that the headlights and stuff like that. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, it's just weird. Uh, the only uh, dislike that I, it's got, I know it's got, it's got disc brakes in the front, but in the back, it's got drum brakes, which I don't like. And the maintenance, I think, on the drum brakes are a little bit kind of uh, shady, or whatever you want to say. Um, like I said, it's drum brakes in the back, and the front is disc brakes. Uh, another thing is, is uh, uh, everybody says, oh, you should have had a sunroof. Well, I do not want a sunroof. I uh, it probably would have been better if you got an accident, but... I do not want a sunroof. Um, I was gonna actually do this shout out to my mom. My mom bought this for me for Christmas. They'll do like cold starts on vehicles at the farm and I don't know if it'll do a cold start on a, this works on V8 engines, but I don't know if about diesel. So it's four, six and V8 engines. I don't think it'll start a diesel, but anyway, she did that because my jump pack at the farm is shot, and we got this one. I might keep this one for a spare for my car. Guess I leave the lights on and I can't get started. 
jumper and away you go. So thank you mom for that Christmas present. I appreciate it. She's uh mom's been there for me a lot. But anyway, um I to do a short video. Um I don't have anything to film at the farm because like I said the roads are solid ice. I'm not going out in them roads. The power's still out, not at the farm, but everywhere else. Um, they're expected to be out. It's been out since Christmas Eve, and that was uh, Saturday. Everything's been out. Power's still out. Um, so I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And uh, I've had a lot, of, a lot of nice people. Um, long time subscribers or new subscribers they uh say i sure love your videos you sure do good videos well thank you i very appreciate it right now i'm very upset because i can't get to the farm and do the cold starts that i promised you guys it's just very awful hard with the holidays being you know here and everything else it's just uh, difficult and uh it's just you know it's hard so um i'm not taking my car out to the farm in the winter time but my avalanche, I just drove it today. She run good. Um, you'll see that video first of the cold start. Yeah, kinda, not really cold start. And I look like Einstein with my hair. <laughs> All right, guys, take care and have a great day.